Right now in Georgia, more than 2.3 million people are fully vaccinated. That's almost a quarter of the state's population. Meanwhile, over a third of Georgia residents have at least one dose of the vaccine. As vaccines ramp up, MARTA is making a comeback. Tonight, all MARTA bus routes are back up and running after being shut down during the pandemic. CBS 46's Tori Cooper joins us now live. And Tori, MARTA is taking some steps to make sure everyone feels safe, right? Yeah, and Trayson, they even have air filters inside of all of their buses, and they tell us that they even have buses on standby to ensure that there's always a bus ready to go that's not overcrowded. Now, the riders we did speak with today say that they are absolutely relieved to see these routes returning. It's a sound many bus riders miss hearing. I feel that people can actually get back to work, people can actually breathe again. Geneva Dyes lives in Clayton County and like many residents, she says her life depends on public transportation. It was an inconvenience as well because a lot of people depend on MARTA and when they shut out all the all the routes in Clayton County, it, Clayton County has a lot, a lot of people that use MARTA. Thousands just like her say when MARTA suspended about 70 bus routes due to COVID-19, it didn't just slow down their routine. It slowed down their route to earning a living. People either had to cut their hours, forced to sit at home, lose money, um, ask neighbors. Dyes knows that struggle all too well. She runs a daycare, and when routes were suspended, she could no longer work the way she used to. Some say they were forced to turn to taxis, Ubers, and Lyfts, and the wait times were fierce. It was a very inconvenient I had to walk 30 minutes to my next bus stop. There will still be capacity limits on MARTA buses and passengers cannot stand. But now that all service routes have been restored, riders are ready for their next stop. I'm very happy, yes, yeah, I am appreciative of it, yes. Now riders are still required to mask up, but MARTA tells us that they will continue to monitor the cases to ensure that everyone is safe while riding. Reporting live in Midtown, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News. Thanks so much, Tori.